Well, the accomplishments just keep coming for the Revere man who had an historic double hand transplant. October will mark three years since his successful surgery. And as News Center 5's Emily Reamer shows us, the passionate musician is playing once again. It's a place in my mind. Making beautiful music and feeling the keys of a grand piano, something Richard Mangino had dreams of nearly three years ago. The new normal is just the way I am. That normal is getting comfortable with his hands. Mr. Mangino made history as the first successful double hand transplant patient at Brigham and Women's Hospital in October 2011. A decade earlier, he lost his lower arms and legs to an infection. I don't notice what I have or I don't have, I'm just doing all these things. Things like swimming, Go back and forth the pool first time. playing ball with his grandkids, and simple tasks most of us don't even think about. I went like this and I pulled the blinds and I said, I couldn't do that before. <laughs> it's like, I pull them up and down and up and down. It's like a comedy episode. I'm, I want to call my wife and say, look at this. <laughs> you know. Still making progress in terms of gaining sensation and gaining more function out of the hands. We've done a few little touch-up operations to, uh, to give them a little bit more pinch strength on one side and give them a little bit more grip strength on the other side. Um, but uh, doing great. Besides the physical healing and progress the past couple of years, there is also a focus on Mr. Mangino's psychological health. Having a creative side has kept him strong. I'm sure that I do a lot more than a lot of people, like I say, because, you know, I have music and I have some art and I have things that I already do that help me to life psychologically. It's just, uh, it's just a huge benefit, you know. Psychologically, I'm as good as everybody else. With hands. And having a supportive family has made all the difference. My wife is awesome. So that's, I mean, because all the things I can do, you know, you need somebody there. Mangino's doctors hope his success can be translated into other transplant advances, saying lower limbs could be the next frontier. I remember. Next frontier for Mr. Mangino, gaining more sensation in his fingers, enjoying life, and one day picking up the guitar again. Maybe I'll try at some point, but uh, but I'm happy with the piano. Although you know you miss those riffs, and uh, it's just a dream when you play. You can go there too. Mangino says he can only play a few chords on the piano right now, but he's writing his own songs, including the one he was playing in the story. I'm Emily Reamer, WCVB News Center 5.